This is an application problem of using rational functions. And let's kind of figure out what the question is asking us. It says a manufacturer of lawnmowers uses the function c of x is equal to 250x over 45,500 over x to model the average cost per lawnmower. And so where x is the number of lawnmowers produced, what is the average cost per mower when 50 lawnmowers are produced? So here in our numerator, that's kind of the cost of, uh, the 45,000 represents the initial cost of setting things up to manufacture these lawnmowers. And then the 250 is pretty much the cost per unit. It, it, would, it takes so much materials to go into the mower. So they want to know the average cost of a lawnmower um, when 50 lawnmowers are produced. So x is the number of lawnmowers produced. So I would just put in um, 50 for x. And so I would have 254x plus 45,500. Oops, except I'm putting 50 in for x. There we go. Um, over x. And I would get I would get 58,200 for my numerator over 50, which would equal 1,164. So if I produced 50 lawnmowers, the cost per each lawnmower to produce would be um, $1,164. So let's look and see if we can verify that on our calculator. If I put um, this rational function on my calculator, you want to be careful how you input it because when I input this, my y1 equals, I want to put my numerator in parentheses. And so you will want to input it in your calculator like this, where you have divided by um, x. If you don't, then what your calculator is going to do, it's going to divide the 45,500 divided by x, and then it's going to add it to this. So you don't want this situation. You want to input it like this. So to do that on my calculator, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to put parentheses. Let's see if I can get over one and then put parentheses 254x plus 45,500 divided by x. Now, the tricky thing here, if I have a standard window and I go to graph this, I am not going to see anything because you have to look and say 45,000, that's a pretty big number. And so my graph is up here somewhere, I just can't see it. So if you play with your window, you can go up here to zoom. And one thing to do is to just um, go down here and there's um, a selection called Zoom Fit and it will kind of fit your data and so um, or fit the window to your data and so that might be a good place to start now I can kinda of see what's going on I, I have this rational type of look and um, but if I look at my situation over here I'm talking about lawnmowers and cost so the negative part of this really doesn't make sense I'm not going to produce negative lawnmowers. So I'm most interested in what's going on over here. So I might focus a little bit more on that. So now if I go to my window and see what it selected, it went from negative 10 to 10 and then something going on here. Wow, that's really big. And so I might want to go negative 10 to say maybe um, 100. That would be 100 lawnmowers that I'm going to make. And 
maybe I kind of like to see my axis, so I might go um, negative oh, 100 and might go up to 5,000 here. Now, um, I can change my scale too. It's not a huge issue if you don't. It just um, makes your lines darker because you don't have a scale. But, you know, I might choose it to be 100 or something like that, and that would be fine. And so, okay, so that looks like a pretty decent little rational function to work with. Now, if I wanted to find the answer to this using my calculator, I have my um, equation in my y1 now. I have a graph and I can go to second trace which gets me to calculate. I want to get to calculate and then I want to find value and I'm going to input the value of 50 because I'm going to find when x is equal to 50 I want to know the output. So I'm going to put x is equal to 50, find the output for me. And it said that the output, the y value, is 1164, which is what I found over here. So if I wanted to write that out in a nice complete sentence, I would write, when 50 lawnmowers are produced, the average cost per lawnmower is $1,164. Let's look at letter B. Okay, letter B says how many lawnmowers would you have to produce to get the average cost to be $750? So solve algebraically and verify on your calculator. So here I need to um, recognize that the 750, my average cost per, per mower, is my output. So I would put 750 as my output and set that equal to my equation and then I would need to solve for x. So to do that I need to multiply x on both sides so I can get it out of my denominator here. So I'm going to have 750x is equal to, and this will divide out, 254x plus 45,500. Now I subtract a 254x from both sides. So, whoop, my 4 didn't come up. There we go. And so on my left side, I will get 496x. And on my right side, I still have my 45,500 and then to get x all by itself I'd want to divide both sides by 496 so I have x is equal to 91 and I'm going to um, go to the tenths place. Okay, So I can check that on my calculator by drawing a, kind of do it over here, I have my graph look something like that. Well, if I put a line in at 750, then I can find where these two points intersect. And then that would be the cost, like right here, that the output would be 750. So then I would just have to find out what is that x value, how many units would I have to produce, to get the cost down to $750. So if I go over here to my graph, um, get my cursor over here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to look at my window. It's at 5,000. Let's see what happens when I put in a line at 750. I'm going to go over here, 750, and enter. And then go ahead and graph that. Okay, it looks like it's crossing somewhere over here. If you wanted to expand your x, um, 
x max out a little bit. Maybe we could expand it out to 200 and graph and see what we get. So yeah, it's going to cross right about here somewhere. So again, I go to I click on second trace that gets you to calculate. And I'm going to choose whoops. Let's see. Try that again. Second trace and intersect. So I'm going to select number 5 and it's going to say first curve, second curve, and I'm going to say okay, yep, that from there to there guess, don't want to, and here it's going to show me that the intersection is at 91.7750. So what does that, I'm going to get some room over here real quick, erase all that. Um, what does that tell me? Well, it tells me that I need to produce um, about 92 units to get the average cost down to $750. So there we have, you will need to get the, you will need to produce 92 lawnmowers to get the average cost of the mower to be $750. Okay, let's look at num letter C. Okay, so here I have um, to determine determine the vertical intercept and interpret the con in the context of this problem. Well, I know that when I have a graph, the vertical, here's my x, my y, my axes, um, the vertical intercept is going to be right here when x is equal to zero. If I look at my equation, I am going to find that if I put 0 in for x, I have a problem because I have 0 in the denominator. And so that is an issue. So when you have 0 in your denominator, the graph is undefined at that point. So I don't have a vertical intercept here. Okay, so there's um, no vertical intercept. Uh, the graph is undefined at that point. So I can put the graph is undefined at x equals 0. Okay, so let's look on to letter B, D. 